Before you ride, perform the pre-ride inspection as described in the owner's manual. Read, understand, and follow all of the instructions, warnings, and safety precautions in the owner's manual and on all product labels. Perform a visual inspection of the sled, looking for debris, leaks, and worn components that may impair its operation. Next, remove both side panels by turning the three-quarter turn latches. Pivot the panels away from the sled and pull out to remove. Then, disconnect the two hood latches. Next, lift the hood up slightly and disconnect the 7S display connector. Then, pivot the hood back and remove from the sled. Beginning on the left side, turn the latch on the drive belt holder to pivot the holder away from the sled to gain access to the drive belt. Then, inspect the condition of the drive belt looking for any looseness, fraying, missing cogs, burns, abrasions, or damage. Continue by inspecting the coolant level in the overflow bottle and adding coolant as needed. Never remove the pressure cap while the engine is warm or hot. Next, move over to the right side and inspect the brake pads and rotor for any corrosion, nicks, or burrs. Next, reinstall the hood panel ensuring the tabs in front are properly engaged. Then, reconnect the connector underneath and verify it is secure. Continue by securing the two hood panel latches. Next, reinstall both side panels by inserting the upper tab and pivoting in to engage the lower tab. Then, latch the three-quarter turn latches to secure each panel. Next, move to the front suspension and inspect for fastener tightness on the shock assembly, control arms, sway bar, tie rods, and spindle. Then, inspect for any leaks and damage on all suspension components. Also, inspect the ski rubber for cracking, wear, or separation. Continue by inspecting the skis for any damage or wear and replace if needed. Also, lift up the skis and inspect the skags for wear. A worn out skag will appear dull and may be worn down to the weld. Always replace any worn skags before riding and ensure they are replaced in pairs. Next, safely elevate the snowmobile per the owner's manual guidelines to inspect the rear suspension. Begin with the front torque arm limiter strap, looking for any wear or damage and replace if needed. Continue by inspecting the rail slides for wear. Replace if worn to the wear limit indicator groove. Next, Measure the track tension per the owner's manual guidelines and adjust as necessary. Continue by inspecting the track for proper alignment by looking through the track windows in the rear. Ensure they are evenly spaced apart and adjust as necessary. Continue by inspecting the rear idler wheel bolt and adjusting bolt lock nuts for tightness. Once finished with the rear suspension, safely lower the sled to the ground. Next, ensure smooth operation of the steering system by turning the skis from full left to full right. Also, ensure proper fluid level in the brake fluid reservoir. A flashlight can be used to illuminate the reservoir in dark areas. Operate the brake and throttle levers, taking note of any binding or sticking. Also, ensure proper operation of the parking brake to ensure there is no binding or sticking. Next, start the engine and ensure there are no warning lights present. Then, allow the engine to warm up to operating temperature for the oil level check. Continue by stopping the engine and allowing it to sit for 10 seconds. Then, restart the engine and allow it to idle again for 10 seconds before turning off. This will help ensure there is an accurate reading. Next, remove the left side panel by turning the three-quarter turn latches. 
pivot the panel away from the sled and pull out to remove. Then remove the dipstick and wipe it dry with a clean shop rag. Continue by reinstalling the dipstick until fully seated. Remove the dipstick again to check the oil level. Add oil as needed to bring the level within the two marks on the dipstick. Once complete, reinstall the dipstick and wipe up any residual oil. Next, reinstall the side panel by inserting the upper tab and pivoting in to engage the lower tab. Then, latch the three-quarter turn latches to secure the panel. Inspect the headlights, tail light, and brake light for proper operation. Next, start the engine and push the engine stop switch to stop the engine. Ensure it does not restart. Then, restart the engine and ensure the engine turns off when the ignition switch is turned off. Finally, restart the engine and pull out the safety tether to ensure the engine stops when removed. Finish the inspection by ensuring there is enough fuel for your trip. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.